Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I want to show you guys this DIY. Also, don't forget to go check out my vlog channel. Go subscribe to my vlog channel. A lot of people request it all the time that I vlog and I do vlog. I've been vlogging almost every single day lately and I'm uploading my daily vlogs kind of on my vlog channel. I'm going to go ahead and link it down below. So go check it out and go subscribe. For this video, I also teamed up with some of my greatest friends. Peter is doing weird school supplies. Andrea is doing back to school expectations versus reality. Abraham is doing DIY liquid markers. Jessica is doing an emergency kit for school. <gasps> oh my god, so many of us. Krishnan is doing back to school advice. Joseph is doing squishy notebooks. John is doing school hacks. And Kat is doing room organization. Make sure to go check them out. I'm going to have them linked down below. So go watch their video, subscribe, and tell them I sent you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like button, comment down below your suggestions, and subscribe if you are not. Thank you guys so much for watching, like I said, and let's go ahead and get straight on to this video. So to make our nail polish highlighters, we're going to start off with some empty nail polish containers, or you can also buy some empty containers. I believe they have them in craft stores. I think I've seen them either at Michael's or at Joann's. You can also buy them online on eBay or Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and clean these out good before we use them. I'm just taking some nail polish remover, using it over and over again until it's clean. Just rinse them out, and I'm also gonna rinse them out with some water. For the next step, I'm gonna need my containers to be dry, so I went in with a Q-tip and dried it faster. Also before I move on, I'm taking out the applicator brush because you don't need it and it's just going to be in the way. Now that I have it nice and clean and dry, it's time to add some color. I really wanted a tinted glass look so I'm adding a bit of Mod Podge, mixing it with some food coloring and then pouring some into the nail polish container. Just kind of roll it around to have the Mod Podge distribute itself everywhere. I went ahead and also did two other colors and then stood them upside down for about 20 minutes to ooze out all the X's. And after that I also put them in the oven for about 20 minutes. This is not mandatory but it sped up the drying process big time. Once it's completely dry you come out with this cool tinted glass look. So now for the fun part, take some highlighters of your choice. We're going to begin to take them apart. Usually highlighters and markers are easy to take apart. I just basically pull the top part off and expose the ink cartridge. Take that out and also the felt tip is going to have to come out. It should be really easy to push out from the other end. Now what I did was I took the felt tip and shoved it into the ink cartridge. This part is really easy but it can squeeze out some ink and it can be a bit messy. This basically fits almost perfect into my nail polish container but to secure it I'm going to go in with some glue to really hold it in place. And that's basically it. It was really easy to make and I think it came out pretty good. And I also went ahead and did the exact same thing to my two other colors. And that's it on how I made these super cute nail polish highlighters. I really hope you guys tried this back to school DIY out because it was really easy and I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to go check out my friends videos. I'm going to have them linked down below. Also go check out my vlog channel. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!